is there a point either with yourself or the people you dealt with where you can point to them and say, this is a moment they get it. And this is a turning point in their life where they, where you now know they are going to do better and be better. Um, so I, sometimes it is a moment and it can be a moment. So for example, for me, that first hypnotherapy or session that was like, I woke up the next morning and I don't remember what she said because it's been such a long time ago. It's been like five years. So I don't actually remember the words or what we did or what we worked on. But my mind was just like, Jenny, you're going to leave LA and you're going to start freaking working while traveling. Uh, uh, yeah, working while traveling. You're going to do that. And there was no turning back. So it can be a moment. It can be a single session. But what is beautiful is, and my clients have that, all of them. But what, be, what is beautiful is that they actually, over time, there are so many moments when they realize, oh my God, I worked on this like two months ago and now the epiphany is coming. So it's your mind, your subconscious mind is working underneath whatever it is that you're consciously experiencing. So the epiphanies can have an, happen even two months later, which is beautiful. But sometimes when you like um, go into a session and when you ask for a person's purpose, like when I found my purpose, then all they said was your purpose is learn and teach how to love. And my whole life made sense. Like literally from the way I was growing up, the guys that I was dating my life now, it's like, this is truly my purpose. And other people's purpose is like another word, like freedom or truth. And their whole life makes sense when they find that word or when they realize why they chose their parents or um, when uh, what can, um, I can give an example. For example, um, there was a, a client who came to me um, and I'm allowed to share this because he gave me permission. He would not eat anything besides candy, nothing besides candy, just like sweet stuff. And he wanted to change that. So we went into the session. In the first session, we found out it was because of the way his parents treated him. His dad made him promises that he never kept. So the little boy, he also wanted to, um, when he was saying, yeah, I'll eat that, that other thing other than candy, then he made a promise that he never kept because he didn't eat it. He just ate candy instead. And then his mom, um, she, what was it with her? There, there was something also with his mom that was going on because he just, oh yeah, so the candy, he felt like it also gave him warmth and love. That's why he would just eat that. And he is now a freaking 35 year old or something who has eaten candy all his life pretty much. And so after finding that out in the first session, his life completely transformed. And now every week he's making it a point to try five new foods, five different foods. And it is beautiful to see. Or another girl that had um, issues with procrastination um, comes out that for her procrastination meant not receiving love or something. Because when she was a child, her father would... Um, he would play a game with her or whatever. And so she would, she would, she would have the love actually. And, and not doing that thing would give her the love. But when she did the thing actually, like right away, she would not have the love. So it's not that procrastination didn't mean not having love, but it meant having love from her father. So it's, it's, it always goes back to childhood. Like I would say like 95% it goes back to childhood. So it, it, it can be a moment, but then again, like I said, it's, it can also, uh, take its time. And I'm asking my clients all the time, what does success mean for you when they start with me and when they end with me? And so when they start with me, it's like, you know, a paragraph, it's really long. And then when they end with me, it's just like, basically, I want to be happy or it, it, it means happiness or it means just, you know, living my soul's purpose. And it's such a short, precise thing that they now know, okay, this is success for me. And it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more.